good morning everyone it's friday the 3rd of april um about 11 o'clock in the morning and uh welcome to the next installment of ed's blog from the bog today i'm going to talk about the business interruption loan scheme you'll probably have seen on the news this morning um that uh the chancellor rishi sunak has revised the loan scheme for businesses um, after there was quite a lot of criticism. So basically the, the history is that the government has devised um, a scheme where businesses can borrow money um, interest free at the moment for 12 months. It's had to be changed because there were a couple of sort of qualifying factors um, first of all. So initially um, you had to approach your commercial bank and try and get a loan from them on normal commercial terms. Only then, when you got turned down for a loan, could you apply for a loan under the Business Interruption Loan Scheme, which is the one that's uh, backed by the British Business Bank. Um, and out of uh, something like 130,000 applications under that scheme, only 1,000 were approved. So one in 130. Uh, and let's be honest, that was probably for uh, businesses which had, you know, very good standing in any event, you know, hundreds of millions of pounds of turnover and stuff. I think it's unlikely that they would have been for uh, standard high street businesses. The second requirement was that um, the bank could ask you uh, and would ask you uh, for a personal guarantee for the entire amount of the loan. Um, and the government was going to give a guarantee to the bank, not to you as the borrower, but to the bank for 80%. So in essence, the way it would have worked is the bank had you under a guarantee for the entire amount of the loan. If you couldn't pay it and they only got back half, then the bank could go and get um, up to 80% of the loan from the government. And that was deemed to be completely unfair and, and not what it was intended to do. And the banks have been accused of... Um, uh, you know, unfair, uh, unreasonable and profiteering behaviour, which I know will be a great surprise to all of you. So what's now happened is that the um, uh, the government has now removed that condition about having to get refused a normal commercial loan. So you can now go straight to any high street bank, probably your own commercial bank, makes sense. And you can ask for a loan under the business interruption loan scheme. You don't have to be turned down first to then qualify. The second thing is that the banks are now being told that they cannot ask for personal guarantees for any loan up to £250,000. So if you want £25,000, £50,000 grand to keep your business going, um, the government will still guarantee to the bank 80% of that and you are not asked to give any personal guarantee for that loan. So that will hopefully mean that the government's, you know, X billion pounds that they made available for the scheme will start to filter its way um, to the high streets and not just to the hundreds of millions of pounds turnover businesses. Um, so there should still be money available. The, the concern, obviously, is going to be that if you don't know what's happening with your business, um, you may not feel able to take out a loan from a bank at this stage on the basis that you might not be able to pay it back. Um, there's, there's nothing really I can say about that. I mean, you know, if you think that your business is just going through a short period, and it will be a short period um, of cash flow difficulty as a result of the lockdown and the crisis, then it may be that you can, combined with the other things like the job retention scheme, uh, the cash grants for businesses scheme based on the business rates and stuff um, and, you know, self-employed help and stuff. If you if you can use those in conjunction with a small loan to survive, then then do it. Um, uh, as I said, hopefully money will be now more readily available to smaller businesses. Um, but we'll have to see if the banks play ball or if they just use this as a further exercise um, to charge ridiculous interest rates. Um, and to profiteer out of someone else's misery. Um, so on that positive note, uh, we have reached the end of a, another fairly weird, stressful working week. So let's just um, enjoy the weekend and I'll come back to you on Monday.